My name is Steve Barnes. Um, I've, ever since I can remember, I've been interested in airplanes. I've had several certified airplanes and it got a little boring, so I decided to get into the home built market. Years ago, I built an RV4 and that was great and exciting, but then I wanted something more, so I decided to build an RV6 around a 540 300 horsepower engine. And a friend of mine had done this before and he had paved the way and he had some of the information and drawings, though mine's different from his. And his is still in existence. Um, it flew over 20 years ago for the first time. And it's been a joy to fly ever since. Uh, it flies pretty much like an RV6, it's just a little heavier. The fuselage is strengthened. It doesn't have the RV6 tail on it. It's got an RV8 empennage on it, which is uh, rated at a 200 knot VNE. For this airplane, the RV6 uh, had an ample 38 gallons, which is plenty for most flights, but I decided to take the same concept and make in 52 gallons. So it's 26 gallons per side, which gives me more range. I've got about a thousand mile range now. And uh, to do that, I had to beef up the spars a little bit to accommodate the extra fuel. Um, I made the wing stronger by putting extra stringers in it. Uh, the center section is identical to an RV6, which is extremely strong. They, over the years, I've never heard of a case of a wings breaking on an RV6 or an RV4. Well, when I first, when I first started uh, flying this, it matched or exceeded my expectations. Um, I got the speeds I wanted, I get really good economy, and um, every once in a while how fast it goes. The best I can get out of it is 200 miles an hour. However, there's an exception to that, and that is if somebody comes along with me and wants to pay, pay for the, all the fuel, it'll easily cruise at 225 miles an hour. But I never go that fast, there's too much fuel to burn. <laughs> Um, as far as climb performance, uh, with just me in it, on a cool day, it'll climb at 3,300 feet a minute. Um, although I, that's only been done in testing, I rarely do that. I fly it pretty much like it's an RV6 uh, and do those sort of speeds. I've been very happy with it, but if it's like having a 700 horsepower Corvette. You never use the power until you, get, until you want to use it, because it's really not needed. I've taken the RV4 clear across the country and circle the Statue of Liberty. I've already done that, so I'm just happy flying this back and forth to Oshkosh or visiting friends in, in uh, the Northwest or going down to Arizona or to New Mexico. Because it gets me, it's a time machine, it gets me there so fast. So the most exciting thing I do with this airplane is I fly it up to a place called Johnson Creek in Idaho and camp and hang out with other pilots there. And it's just, you're in a deep V-shaped canyon. It's not for everybody, but it's a really nice runway. And going in the mountains, you, you really appreciate a, a plane with power in the mountains. So that's, I do that every summer for the last 20 years and uh, sometimes several times in the summer. So that's pretty exciting. I take people up there and, and they love it there.